Because we have five planets. What would you just say? That you can see we're on Earth, though. What were you just thinking just then? What about? Where's my eraser? When were the days of the week named? The ancient era. These were named. See, Martis is Mars, the god of, of well, who's he the god of? The little G god. What do you heard? What have you been studying mythology about Mars? The god of war. Why do we call him the god of war? Because when you look at Mars in a telescope, you look with your eyes, it's red. Right? What else is red? Blood is red. So that's why he called him the god of war. Okay, tonight you're going to see a real bright star in the west. It's so beautiful. It's so bright. It's so beautiful. Who is the goddess of beauty? Yes, the goddess of beauty was Venus. Okay? So the, the gods you learn in mythology are what the days of the week are named after. Now, I thought you were going to, but how, what are the planets? What are the planets in order? Mercury, Mercury Venus, Venus, Earth, Earth No. Now, when the days of the week were named, when the days of the week were named, there were only five stars, five planets. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. That's all they had. So kids 4,000 years ago only had to memorize five planets. Okay? But in 1610, in 1610, Oh, Galileo actually invented that this was the first telescope. This is a, a replica of the first telescope by Galileo. In 1610, my wife gave it to me for Christmas because I like stuff like this. It's a replica. But have you ever seen a telescope this small before? Yeah. Any telescope you see in the store is bigger than this, right? Yeah. Okay, but Galileo in 1610, when he used this telescope, he wrote a book about what he saw. They put him in jail, house arrest, because he looked at, uh, he looked at uh, a Venus, and he said that Venus had horns. Yes. He looked at Jupiter. Oh, I know, here's, he looked at Saturn, what they called Saturn, and it had ears. And they looked at Jupiter, and he had like stars next to it, little stars. Okay, and this is what he saw. This telescope like this, when he looked at Saturn, he saw this. He called those ears. And we looked at Venus, it looked like this. And when he looked at Jupiter, he saw Jupiter, but he saw three little stars over here and like one over here. And one, and he looked another time, he saw two over here and two over here. Another time he saw three over here, one over here, and sometimes he saw four. They look like little stars, but he seemed to be kind of going around that. Okay, so they, they told the authorities, the Pope and the cardinals and stuff, came and looked at the telescope. They saw these things. They put him in jail. They were going to hang him. They were going to burn him at the stake. In those days, you were not allowed to think. Okay, Galileo looked in his telescope, and he saw this. Now, nowadays, we know what that is, right? What was this? With a bigger telescope, you actually see the rings of Saturn. Well, in his telescope, it had ears. Over here, he saw a, a crescent, like the moon, goes through, you, the moon goes through phases, right? Crescent, gibbous, quarter, last quarter, right? Full. Guess what? Mercury and Venus do the same thing. They go through phases. So when he said Venus had horns, what he was really seeing, he was the first one to ever see it, that Venus had phases also. Okay. And they put him in jail because Aristotle and then later on the church said that the, uh, the heavens were perfect. Everything is perfect. You know, the earth is the center of the universe 
and the sun goes around us, doesn't the sun rise? And doesn't the sun set in the west? Doesn't the moon rise in the east and come up and set in the west? All the planets rise in the east, set in the west. Everything goes around the earth. But what Galileo was saying, some odd things were here. They put him in jail. They put him in house arrest. Who was not allowed to write books, who was not allowed to talk to his technical friends, he could not go out of his house because of that. What? He eventually died. He actually had, they tried him in court, and he had to admit that I was wrong. He says, you're right, I'm wrong. The earth is, is the center of the universe. But I guess I won't go into that. Okay, but now we know, but once a telescope was invented, and started people using telescopes, they started finding other planets out there. So what were the other planets that were found? Uh, Mercury, 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 Uranus. Yes, we found uh, Mercury, Earth, Saturn. We found Uranus. And also we found Neptune. And these were like in the 1700s. I don't know quite the date. And Neptune. And then in 1930, Pluto was discovered by an American. It's the only planet discovered by an American. So before this, when Galileo was alive, he only had five planets to learn. And then, then you had six. Then you had seven. Then you had eight. Plus the Earth would be nine, okay? But then, in the 21st century, when my grandmother was alive, uh, a kid, student, she only had to learn eight planets. You all have to learn nine, right? But what happened a couple years ago? They determined that Pluto is not a planet. So it's a dwarf planet. And that's right. So instead of being negative, I like to be positive. I flip negatives into positive. You could be depressed. Oh, no, there's only eight planets. What happened to Pluto? I flip it, okay? Because you have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ceres, and this is how you pronounce it, S-E-R-I-E-S, -E -E Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and Eris. Yes, this is a dwarf planet. Ceres is a dwarf planet. Pluto is a dwarf planet, and Eris is a dwarf planet. So nowadays, what we have is we have eight big planets, right? We have eight planets, and we have three dwarf planets. Total number of planets is 11. So students of the 21st century <coughs> get to learn 11 planets. And the two new ones are Ceres, that's how you pronounce it, Ceres, you spell it this way, and Eris, E-R-I-S, it's past Pluto. So how did y'all learn, didn't you learn the planets in a certain order? Yes. What would y'all used to say? My mother just served us nine pizzas. Now here's my challenge to you all in the 21st century. Come up with a new mnemonic. First of all, ask your teachers how to spell mnemonic. Ask them what it means, and then do it. It's homework. It'll be good, right? Because you have to add a C in here and add an E at the end. So it's going to be a project. Because we have two new planets. A series is between Mars and Jupiter, and Eris is after Pluto. That's your homework. Is to come up with a new mnemonic for students of the 21st century to learn about astronomy. Okay, so this is just one of the things. Did you learn today that the days of the week are named after... The five visible planets. In it. Well, hold it. Hold it. There's nine planets. If what I'm saying is true, why isn't there nine days of the week? Why isn't there 11 days in the week then? Because if the days of the week are named after the planets and the sun and the moon, why isn't there 11 days in the week? Hear what she just said? Exactly right. When the days of the week were named 4,000 years ago, they didn't have a telescope. They didn't know about these other planets. So that's why there's not Pluto Day. 